Andrew, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we've got a fantastic season ahead with the likes of Elm Park and your stable. Are you excited for the season ahead? Oh, very much so. I think when you get to this stage of the year, it's um, always plenty to look forward to, all your geese are swans, and uh, so much optimism. But um, hopefully some of our geese will be swans this year, and uh, looking forward to getting involved in, in some of the, the British Champion Series races. And we've just seen Elm Park, he looks absolutely fantastic. Um, for you, how has he wintered? Very well. I think he's, he's developed um, with, with, in all the right places and uh, he's, he's been very relaxed in his work at home and worked, to a, as always, to a very good level. So um, we've just got one good gallop to go before, um, before hopefully taking part in the, in the 2000 Guineas. And in terms of his progress this year, have you been kind of overwhelmed with his performances and the way he's kind of um, matured into a three-year-old? Yeah, I've been very, very satisfied anyway. Um, yeah, his work's been very good. And as I say, physically, he looks, he really looks the part now. And as last year was a little bit unfurnished and a little bit weak looking, uh, he's really strengthened into a lovely looking horse. And he looks a horse in terms of pedigree and the, the way he looks um, as a horse tailor-made for Epsom for the Derby. Um, is that his big aim for the year? Well, very much so. I mean, it's, I think it's everyone's big aim if they've got a horse that might be capable of doing it. I mean, it's, it, it is our Blue Ribbon event and I'd um, love to think we'd, one day we'd have a horse good enough to, to win it. But uh, at the moment, he ticks a lot of boxes having, you know, the two-year-old record that he has. So the CV is good so far, but... There's still, although there's not much time to go, there's still a lot of uh, water to go under the bridge before we can really get excited about it. And you won a classic early on in your career. I mean, despite one being a filly and, and obviously on part being a colt, I mean, are there similarities between the pair? Uh, the similarities were that they were both very good two-year-olds with scope. So, um, yeah, that's reasonably encouraging. Uh, uh, casual look was group one placed at two and group two placed at two. Um, so similar profiles from that point of view. And... Uh, and they both had sort of tremendous physical scope and, and presence. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're not unalike anyway. And finally, I mean, what would, it, what would it mean personally to you to win a British Classic this year with uh, such a fantastic horse? Oh, look, it means everything. And uh, Sheikh Fahad and Qatar have been a great supporters of the yard and um, be, you know, be wonderful to have a, have a really big winner for them. And um, uh, they've, they've invested a lot in not just into Kingsclear but into racing in general for the for the improvement of our sport and uh, it'd be great to see them rewarded.